Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I will be talking about the book The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I just finished reading it yesterday and uh, if you know your Greek mythology then you already know what this book is about. It's based on the life of Achilles as seen through the eyes or the point of view of his most beloved companion Patroclus. Now there are different opinions that people have held about the relationship that Achilles and Patroclus had. According to Homer's Iliad, he described them as very close friends have, who loved each other dearly. If we go a bit further, then we have Plato in his symposium who expanded on this relationship saying that most probably Achilles and Patroclus had a sexual relationship as well. So we're not really sure where this stands and if you've read the Song of Achilles, you see that here Patroclus not only develops a close friendship with Achilles, he also develops a sexual relationship with him. So unlike the Iliad, which focuses on the last year of the Trojan War and which is where we get most of our information of Achilles and Patroclus' relationship from, Madeline Miller's book goes way earlier than that and takes a look at Patroclus Patroclus and Achilles' lives, about Patroclus, how he grew up, how he became friends with Achilles and the series of events that led them being so close to each other. So this book opens up with Patroclus and uh, the whole scene with Helen of Troy. Well, at this point she wasn't Helen of Troy yet, she was Helen being choosing her suitors. And it was here that her suitors took the vow of Tyndarus where by if anything happened to Helen or her husband, that the suitors who had taken the vow would come and fight for their honor. Now, that's the beginning of our book, which sets up the backstory. And we go back to Protoclus and his relationship with his father, which was very rocky according to the book. The book describes him as a very weak and mild-mannered child, someone who was not fit to be the son of a king, and how he accidentally kills his playmate over a disagreement while they were playing dice. Because of this, he is exiled to Achilles' kingdom, and this is where Patroclus and Achilles meets. And that is the setup of the beginning of their meetup and a friendship that would last until their deaths. Now, the book is quite well written. In fact, it's written in such a way that it reads very easily, even though he she does use a lot of flower language here and there. So for me, personally, it reads like a YA novel. And I'm not very into young adult novels, but still it was quite an easy book to get through. However, I have one uh, specific problem with the book. It is its portrayal of Patroclus. In the book, Patroclus is depicted as very mild-mannered, very weak. He is basically shown to be not very brave, not courageous. But we can see, or if you have read the Greek mythology, you would know that Patroclus is said to be very wise. So he, was take, he takes up counsel with Achilles and he is one of Achilles' best counsellors. He's, and even though he's not as skilled in battle as Achilles is, his, you know, skill in battle is not that bad that he would not be able to fight if he was called upon. Whereas in the book, it's clearly giving us the indication that Patroclus was the much lesser of the two. Also, he kind of hero worships Achilles in the book, which I did not really enjoy as much because it set Achilles up on this you know platform where he was just looking up and he loved Achilles so much right from his hair down to his feet I mean there was this whole line a paragraph of how he described Achilles feet was which I found very weird so I thought it was leading up to the whole myth of Achilles heel but that didn't happen so it was very awkward reading that portion. And also because Achilles is like put on such a platform and he's said to be most perfect, the best of the Greeks, I couldn't really see what Achilles saw in Patroclus in the book. In the Greek mythology, we can really see that these two were each other's compliments. 
whereas Achilles was hot tempered and he was arrogant and bash and he would just do whatever he wanted to do. Patroclus, on the other hand, was wise and giving him counsel and was able to calm him down and really call Achilles out on his shit. So I didn't really see that dynamic here in the book. In fact, I don't remember much conversation between Achilles and Patroclus in the book. But that doesn't mean I didn't like the book. I did like the book. I just had that one very specific problem with the book. So if you're looking for a segue into Greek mythology, I wouldn't recommend you start with the Song of Achilles. You can actually start with one of Stephen Fry's books. So if I remember correctly, he's written two books on Greek mythology and I've read one of them and it was hilarious. I loved it. So you can start with that and maybe you can segue into the Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. She herself has taken a long time to write this book and you can really see the research in the writing. However, like I said, it reads and feels like a YA novel. So for people like me who are not that much into young adult novels, you're not really going to enjoy this book as much. However, I feel like I may be alone in my opinion because as I was going through Goodreads and looking at everyone's reviews on the book, it had such overwhelmingly positive reviews and very few people had the problem that I had with it. So I don't know. Take it at face value. If you like it, you like it. No one's judging you for what you like or what you don't like. So, okay. Thank you everyone for listening. Please don't hate me <laughs> because I didn't enjoy this book as much as I would have liked to. I am reading Circe by Madeline Miller. So let's see how that goes. Uh, I will put up uh, Stephen uh, Fry's books. I don't remember the names right now, but please look those up as well because even though it's a more lighthearted take on Greek mythology, it is still very nicely done and it does get the message across. So thanks everyone for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below on what you want me to read next or if you've read the song of Achilles and what you feel about it. Uh, thanks everyone. Bye.